Hey guys, Mike Builds. Real quick, I want to show you guys how I charge my battery setup when there's not a whole lot of sun out. So as you can see, it's kind of overcast today and my whole setup's about 45% state of charge. So the awesome thing about this Sun Gold power inverter is it's actually a charger too. And what I did was I took this extension cord right here, cut the end off, wired it into the mains input, and then we're going to uncoil the extension cord. We're going to run it outside and I'll show you all what I'm going to hook it up to. Okay, so I've got the cord coming from the inverter. This goes to the main mains end. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it to this in Predator inverter generator. What's nice about this inverter generator is it's somewhat light, it's not very big. It is very fuel efficient and it's quiet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this thing cranked up, give it a minute to warm up, and then we're gonna go in the house and turn the inverter on. But this is pretty much what I use to charge my batteries whenever the sun's not out. I've seen some people build their own generator setups. But I think this is a really good way to go if you have an inverter that's capable of also being a charger. So like I said, we have a lot of overcast today, not going to produce a whole lot of power on the panels. And I want to, I need to run this thing anyways, but it'll be good to top up the batteries a little bit. Okay, so the, the generator is running. As you can see, it's not super loud. So now we're going to go in the house and turn the inverter on. All right, we got our inverter or our generator running. So we're going to come over here and I already have this set up to where with this dip switch, when this turns on, it should turn the charger on when it's connected, when it sees mains. And there goes the generator kind of idled up a little bit. And we have the light right here saying charger on fast charge mode. So that's it. You can adjust the current with this little knob. And that's it. So I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. You can hear the generator out there. Not very loud. But yes, that's how I top these batteries up. So I'm going to let this run for probably an hour just to give the generator some runtime and put some power back in the batteries. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys, this is my little solution to charge on overcast days. So it works really good. There's probably other ways that other people do it, but this is just how I do it. And like I said, the best part about the inverter generator, it's not very loud. You're not going to irritate your neighbors and it's fuel efficient. So it works really well for my setup and that's going to be it. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys real quick. Thank you very much for watching.